Do you just click on yes whenever you see that accept cookie notification on a website? Well, after today, that's going to change. You see, I just ran the software that allows me to see what happens when you click on that accept cookie notification and it's not good. So let's talk about those cookies. What happens when you decline a notification? Does everything still work? And when should you absolutely decline that cookie? Well, here's what you need to know. Okay, let's do this. Break it down now, phone, gadget, apps, it's the techie, techie guy, yeah. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. So what are cookies? Well, cookies are just bits of information that are stored in your browser when you visit a website. But not all cookies are the same. There are actually three types of cookies. Two of them are fine, but one uh, is a bit of a problem. So the first one is called session cookies. These are temporary, they are deleted when you close the browser. These keep a bit of information that are relevant to the way that you search the website, like keeping your last search on that site, for example. The second type is persistent cookies by first party. That means that cookies are stored in your computer even after you close the browser and they even have an expiration date. These are used by the website owner that you're on and these are mainly used to enhance your website experience such as automatically logging you in or remembering your preferences for that website like the language or what is the closest nearest store that you set. You then get persistent cookies by third parties. Now these are the buggers. These are not created or managed by the website owners. Information brokers create those cookies and constantly collect your data as you go about your online activities. Since these cookies live on thousands of websites, they make it possible to build a very detailed profile on you and then they can take your data and make it possible for advertisers to target you with their ads. So the big question is, do you have to accept cookies? Well, most cookies are really not an issue. They're just used by the website owner so you have a better experience with the website. However, if you don't want that, you can obviously decline the cookie and most websites will work just fine. Of course, any personalization will not be available to you. So next time you visit that website, you have to tell it again, which is your closest store or what language you want the website to be. And of course, manually log in. So are there cases when you should definitely decline those cookies? Absolutely. Remember those third party cookies I was speaking about earlier? that track every bit of your movement online? Well, when that cookie notification pops up, if you have a look at that notification and it mentions third party, decline it, or at least unselect it. It takes just one badly configured website, which by the way, you cannot control, and they marry your surfing habits with your name, your telephone number, your email address, and lots of other personal information. This is then sold. I will show you shortly how to actually protect your information, but let's talk about the second case where you absolutely must decline the cookies is that if you're visiting a non-secured website. You know those websites that don't have a lock on the next to that URL? Well, those websites are not taking your information seriously. They have no respect for your privacy. Those are the websites to be really worried about. This is especially true if you happen to be in a Wi-Fi place where something called cookie stealing actually takes place. This is when somebody overhears your conversations with the website, they virtually grab a hold of your cookie and are able to automatically log in because the website doesn't know that it's not you. So what can you do to protect yourself and your information? Well, firstly, if you're in a public Wi-Fi, use incognito mode. This will not save any cookie sessions or information during the time that you happen to be online. Secondly, if you like having a personalized web experience but don't want your personal information floating out there with these third-party brokers, then you can add a browser extension that allows you to select what information can actually be shared. I personally like Privacy Badger for Chrome and Firefox as it looks at third-party cookies and only blocks them if they are collecting unique bits of information about you. This means you can still support your favorite website by not simply blocking all advertisers, which is, let's be honest, is how the website earns its living. But with this extension, at least you're able to support the website, but not putting your information at risk. Now, if you don't want to install any extension, no problem. Simply log into your browser setting, look for cookies, and select the option that says, don't use third-party cookies. 
simply enable that. Now finally, if you're unsure if you already have given away too much information just by clicking on the accept button, go into your browser, clear all your cookies and start again. Now remember, by doing that, it's not gonna log you out of things like your Gmail account. So next time you go into any website, that cookie notification will pop up. Spend at least one second reading through that notification and decide if you want to allow it or not. So now I have a question for you since you've made it this far and you're pretty awesome. If we're gonna get ads anyway, well, which one do you prefer? Personalized ad of the stuff that we actually care about or just random ads? I would love to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. Please share this with at least one family member or one friend so we can stop giving away our information. And if you want more tips and tricks, check out these videos down here. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in those videos. Be safe out there.